I found a secret garden of healing. Located in the middle of a little town called Grafton, Ontario. The crazy thing is, it's only an hour away from my hometown of Toronto. They call it St. Anne's. I call it my happy place. I've been coming here with my husband for years and have always wanted to share our experience. So this time, I decided to bring you guys along on our 48-hour spa getaway. This is Sentosa. It's where my husband Vlad and I spent our two nights stay. It's one of the many spa cottages located within walking distance of the main inn. We've stayed in the main inn and the spa cottages on our previous visits and honestly, every room we've been in was unique and beautiful in its own way. I mean, seriously, how cozy and cute is this room? This room is called Sentosa West. We kicked off day one with a guided walk and explored the grounds around the main inn, including the ever-evolving Tranquility Garden and Labyrinth. I think this is the perfect spot for meditation and self-reflection, don't you think? Those rolling hills behind me? Those are called the Northumberland Hills. I think the best way to see them and the nature all around is to explore one of the many groomed trails that stems from the main inn. After our wellness walk, we changed into the customary outfit of St. Anne's, a cozy white robe and slippers, which I never resist, and enjoyed one of our favorite activities here, afternoon tea. It's where you get to enjoy a variety of different small bites like sandwiches, wraps, crackers and cheese, sweets and scones, which by the way, come with the traditional pairings of homemade jam and clotted cream. And of course, you're served your choice of tea. The teas are really good here. My personal favorite is the festive flair. After afternoon tea, we headed over to the oldest wing of the main inn, which was originally built in the 1850s and was later expanded in the early 1900s. This is where one of the many lounge areas of St. Anne's is located, but this one in particular is where you wait before being whisked away if you choose to pamper yourself with a luxurious spa treatment. Today, I was getting pampered with a relaxing traditional European massage. All of the treatments at St. Anne's are designed to be a full body and mind experience. The mission is to stimulate all of your senses, starting with a soothing foot soak, which is then followed by a relaxing full body massage using traditional European massage movements. For this treatment, I got to enjoy the aromatherapy benefits of a pure essential oil blend of eucalyptus and palmarosa. They also gave me a little takeaway bottle of this massage oil to take home and continue my spa experience at home, which I thought was a really nice touch. After my soothing and relaxing massage, Vlad and I decided to enjoy some time together in the spa's Fieldstone Grotto, which is essentially an outdoor hydrotherapy area, which includes a small pool, a cold plunge, and a hot soaking tub. One of Vlad's favorite things to do here is to sink into the cold plunge followed by the hot soaking tub immediately after. He claims this little activity is even more exhilarating in the winter months because of the drastic temperature contrast, but I'm not that convinced. My skepticism aside, I decided I would give it a try and as you can tell, my first go at it was not pleasant in the slightest. Vlad really had to talk me through the process and encouraged me to just let go and ease my mind and with that it became easier and easier. Was it the most enjoyable feeling in the world? No, but it definitely helps you train your mind to shift your focus from discomfort and focus on things like your breath. When you do that, I swear it feels like all your thoughts drift away and you forget about all the discomfort your body is feeling in that moment. I'm sharing this with you because I feel like it's a lesson we could all use in our busy, chaotic lives. Just take a moment to breathe and let go. 
After some fun in the Fieldstone Grotto, we decided to go for a quick steam in the Eucalyptus Steam Room, which was too steamy for our GoPro to capture in all of its glory. So here's some quick in and out footage so you guys get the picture. Another highlight of the day was getting to meet head chef Ben and see all of the behind the scenes action in the kitchen of the main dining room. And yes, I'm still in my robe. Constant state of coziness is the name of the game here. Chef was explaining to me how he goes about testing different menu items before serving them to the spa guests and how the menu constantly changes to feature the best ingredients of the season. All of the ingredients are either grown on the St. Anne's farm or sourced from local Ontario farmers. This is an example of one of the colorful dishes served here incorporating local heirloom beets that were marinated in-house to bring out the sweetness in them, some frisée mixed with colorful edible flowers, garnished with a little pickled red onion, house made gelée and dressed with their signature house vinaigrette. It's very light but very ingredient focused which I can really appreciate. Next, the kitchen prepared a delicious gnocchi dish for us that, lucky for me, was completely gluten-free. I mentioned a couple times in previous videos that I suffer from a gluten intolerance, so this was very, very exciting for me. I haven't been able to enjoy gnocchi in years. The dough used to make this variation of gnocchi is made using potato flour instead of traditional wheat flour, which gives it the perfect, slightly chewy texture of traditional gnocchi and enhances the potato flavor of this pasta dish to another level. To the gnocchi, an assortment of colorful bell peppers, red onion, eggplant, zucchini, vine-ripe tomatoes are tossed in and sauteed together, and then a homemade sauce made from pureed smoked vegetables is added to the pan. All of the ingredients are then sauteed together until every bite is evenly coated in the sauce. Chef insisted that I try a bite and of course I couldn't resist and it did not disappoint. The smokiness of the sauce paired perfectly with the starchiness of the gnocchi, definitely a pasta lover's dream come true. After our behind the scenes kitchen tour, it was time for dinner. The amuse bouche was a perfectly cooked vegan falafel on top of a creamy and refreshing homemade tzatziki sauce. And to start, Vlad chose the vegetable lentil soup and I went for the heirloom beet salad. The little behind the scenes kitchen prep made me do it. But seriously, you can really taste the difference in quality of locally grown ingredients. For our mains, Vlad went for the roasted beef special served with smashed purple potatoes, which he clearly was very happy with, and I went with the nori wrapped pan fried trout. This is hands down one of my new favorite dishes here. The trout was very soft and tender, and the nori was the perfect unexpected complement that added another layer of texture to the dish. And obviously we couldn't pass up dessert. Vlad is obsessed with the coconut ice cream here, which by the way is made in house at the St. Anne's Bakery, which I will show you in just a little bit and you will get to see him gorging on it quite a few times during our stay. It's very impressive. I, on the other hand, decided to go with the salted chocolate apricot tart with a scoop of homemade chocolate ice cream. It was so, so good. Day two started bright and early with a delicious breakfast. Vlad went for the almond butter blueberry pancakes and I went with the Mexican breakfast rice bowl with St. Anne's own gluten-free bread, which is also made at their bakery and is one of the best gluten-free breads I have ever had. After breakfast, it was time for another spa treatment. This time, I got to enjoy the popular contouring mudstone wrap, which again started with a relaxing aromatherapy experience, followed by a full body massage using hot basalt rocks that are said to boost circulation and tighten the skin. Then a thick mud mask enriched with skin softening and nourishing minerals was applied to the legs, the arms, chest, and back. After the mud mask application, I was then wrapped like a burrito and cocooned in a thermal wrap while receiving a drool-worthy scalp and neck massage. And yes, I said drool-worthy. I have to say, this has quickly become one of my new favorite body treatments at St. Anne's. One of our other favorite pastimes here is lounging in the quiet room next to the Fieldstone Grotto, mainly because it's furnished with these incredible back and foot massage chairs. The foot massage in particular is my favorite. I'll refrain from saying drill worthy again, but let's just say I'm seriously considering getting one in my office. 
I would also really recommend exploring the vast property of St. Anne's because it's covered in scenic and serene areas where you can relax and let your mind be free. One of my favorite spots to lounge is on the Muskoka chairs located on the south side overlooking the rolling Northumberland Hills. I mean, does this place not look like it was taken out of the pages of Chronicles of Narnia? The private meditation and treatment gazebos are also amazing. I personally love curling up and reading a book in them or relaxing and just overlooking the beautiful fieldstone work on the main inn. All of the trails and pathways around the main inn will always lead to a pleasant surprise around the corner. Like this super cute run-in I had with one of the beautiful dogs that roam around the property all year round. And this one is named Massey. He's a purebred Newfoundland and he's the youngest of the pups here and also the fluffiest. Every time I visit, I always make sure to stop at the little boutique located in the main inn. It's stocked with my favorite chocolate face mask, which leaves your skin looking radiant and feeling like baby skin. And I also love the St. Anne's own range of skincare products. A couple of my faves right off the top are this incredible hand and body wash and the facial cleanser. I always pick a backup so I can bring the spa experience home with me. And let's not forget about the makeup. They carry a couple of really nice non-toxic indie brands, which I really love. Okay, it's time for lunch, so I wanted to show you one of the sample menus during the spring season. As you can see, every menu item is thoughtfully labeled with an allergy or dietary marker, which makes ordering super easy and a lot less uncomfortable for anyone like me who suffers with food sensitivities or allergies. Vlad went with the daily soup of the day today, which was a sweet potato puree topped with an avocado creme, and I went for the Mediterranean dip platter that comes with gluten-free lavash, some beautiful Greek olives and lentils, and a trio of dips including smoky red pepper, hummus, and tzatziki. For my main, I went with my absolute favorite dish here, which is the curry bowl with shrimp. Vlad went for the classic beef burger, which by the way, comes from the cattle grown on the St. Anne's farm. In fact, all of the beef dishes served here come from the St. Anne's farm. Look at him food modeling for the vlog. Good job, honey. After lunch, we headed to the yoga and meditation room where I was guided through a series of beautiful yoga poses and stretches by one of the instructors here, Jackie. This is the second time I have taken a class from Jackie and it's always a really wonderful experience. She works with your body to ensure you don't push yourself too hard and make sure you use proper form to prevent any injury. Each pose brought clarity to my mind, challenged my body, strengthened my cord, and left me feeling balanced and grounded. Except for this one. Yoga is one of those practices that really helps me refocus my energy and rediscover my balance again. This is why I love it here so much. Every activity, treatment, and meal works together in harmony to balance your mind, body, and soul. And just like that, it was time to refuel with afternoon tea again. It never gets old. At this point, we were so relaxed to change out of our robes, so we visited the St. Anne's Bakery looking like we just rolled out of bed. The bakery is a small little building just a minute drive from the main inn and is where all the breads, baked goods, and sweets are made, including all of the delicious jams served at breakfast and afternoon tea. All of the breads here are made fresh daily and the kitchen is also certified gluten-free. They have a very strict no contamination policy which means that everything in this facility is regulated and is free and clear of gluten, which also means I could eat anything and everything in here. So I did. They also make all of the sweets and chocolates in-house, including the delicious coconut ice cream Vlad is obsessed with. This is the machine they use to churn it and give it its creamy and smooth consistency. This was a batch of fresh biscotti that just came out of the oven and were cooling off before being sliced and packaged for distribution. And this is me after I volunteered to pack a loaf of bread. I thought it looked easy, but apparently there's an art to properly packing bread. I felt very accomplished, as you can see. 
And as if they didn't already feed us enough, they wouldn't let us leave without trying their famous homemade popsicles. More specifically, the coconut ice cream popsicle with a gooey chocolate ganache filled center, which was easily the most insane popsicle I have ever had in my life. Thank goodness Vlad doesn't like chocolate, so I didn't have to share it with him. And the feeding frenzy continued when we got back to the main inn with another amazing dinner prepared by the main kitchen and staff. I had the heirloom beet salad again and Vlad went with another daily soup of the day. Vlad really wanted you to know how delicious his soup was here. Are you convinced yet? For our mains, Vlad ordered another meat dish. This time, I believe it was the chef's special of the day that featured a braised short rib and another cut of beef to accompany it. And I went with the vegan lasagna because Vlad ate enough meat for the both of us. It was delicious in case you couldn't tell by my expression. Vlad does that better than I do. And obviously, Vlad couldn't resist another helping of coconut ice cream. I decided to indulge in this layered chocolate cake and ask for a side of fresh berries because balance. My theory is if you eat some fruit with every bite of cake, the fruit cancels out the cake. Isn't that how it works? Our last day started with another order of almond butter blueberry pancakes for Vlad and a healthier egg white veggie omelet for me with all of the sides. Smoked salmon, St. Anne's gluten-free bread, fruit salad, and a delicious parfait featuring the house granola which is also made at the bakery. So, so good. Then it was time for my last treatment, the firming mud facial, which includes all of the traditional steps of a luxurious facial like cleansing, toning, and moisturizing using all of St. Anne's own natural skincare products, followed by an application of a nourishing mud mask rich in minerals to revitalize and rejuvenate the skin. This will make it my second time indulging in this particular facial and it's absolutely heavenly. Your skin will look so radiant and smooth, firmer and glowing from every angle. Our 48 hour getaway ended with lunch. Vlad went with a Mediterranean platter that I had the day before and I went with a cucumber wrapped green salad garnished with grape tomatoes, grapes and pecans. And of course, I couldn't leave without having my favorite shrimp curry bowl. Who would I be if I did that? Vlad went with a smoked meat sandwich this time on a freshly baked baguette from the bakery. You know, I was wondering how he managed to eat so much meat in 48 hours, but what's even more impressive is how he managed to fit this ginormous sandwich in his mouth and still be able to chew. We usually don't have dessert after lunch, but since it was our last meal before going home, we decided to go for it. I went with the rich layered chocolate cake I had yesterday with a side of fruit because I'm committed to my balancing theory and Vlad went with <gasps> coconut ice cream. Shocker. I really hope you enjoyed following us around St. Anne's, our secret dreamy hideaway and our retreat away from home. This is where we go whenever we need to take a break from our busy, chaotic lives in the city and to disconnect from the world and also just to eat, sleep, pamper, repeat. But seriously, it is truly one of the most therapeutic places for helping you rediscover your inner peace and refocus your energy. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next one.